The famous artist school was a correspondence school. And there was a unique school. It was probably the best correspondence course that has ever been developed. It was purposely designed to train professionals. The school was the brainchild of Albert Dorn and Fred Ludekens, who were two of the top commercial illustrators of the day. Uh, the faculty of the famous artist school was very carefully handpicked. John Atherton was very good with advertising illustration and product illustration. Uh, Harold von Schmidt was a Western artist. He was able to paint pictures of cowboys and Indians and trappers and hunters. John Whitcomb specialized in doing pretty girls. Uh, so each of these artists had their specialization. I was privileged to know Norman Rockwell. Uh, Norman was one of the leading lights of our guiding faculty of the school. I was a young illustrator then who was working as an instructor. Basically, we were acting as surrogate teachers for the guiding faculty. I took the uh, famous artist cartoon course uh, by correspondence. I thumbed through those textbooks and I was just in awe of how much there was to learn. Later when I went to this boarding school, the director of the school, he knew I was interested in cartooning. I was already beginning to do cartoons for the school paper. And so a few weeks later, he said, an anonymous donor has purchased the famous artist cartoon course for you. I mean, I later learned that he was the anonymous donor. So through my senior year, I was working lesson by lesson through the course. They made it seem really accessible to people, like just learn to draw some cartoons, anybody can do it, and you can make a living from your own home. I was more dedicated, I think, because I'd worked in a factory I was no good at it. I was a terrible milling machine operator. <laughs> so there was an impetus for me to really to knuckle down, because I thought, well, I could make a living doing this. I could be a famous artist. 